Hey guys, I'm in Mesa, Arizona at the new Steadfast Farm site, which is in a right in a community development or an agri-hood, super exciting farm project. It's where our five-day workshop's gonna be in February 25th. Very people-friendly place, lots of space. It's like, it's so cool. There's parks right here. Anyways, what I wanna to talk to you guys today is about their irrigation system that is they've set up here, which is a hybrid irrigation system. It's a combination of overhead and drip. And I'll get into why they're doing that and why I think it works well in their context. So what we've got here is a hybrid system of wobblers as an overhead and drip irrigation as well. The main reason they're doing this is they are in a very hot and arid climate here. And Eric at Steadfast has been doing drip irrigation for most of the time that Steadfast Farm has been around, mainly because they want to get water direct on the beds, which is a more efficient use of that water. However, there are some advantages to overhead watering, and I've talked about this in previous videos, where you know one of the biggest advantages of overhead is that you get water quickly on the surface and when you've seeded a new crop, that's gonna absorb in the surface and help those, ge those seeds germinate well. But then there's an advantage to drip as well in the sense that they're in a hot and dry climate here where there's a lot of evaporation. Drip goes right on the soil and immediately goes under so it's efficient in that it's not wasting water. But what they've done here is got the best of both worlds. And I don't think this is a context that's going to work or make sense everywhere. It really is more about a hot and arid climate. You know, I, I, something like this might even work in my climate for me. Because the problems that I've had with drip have always come down to how the crop germinates. Once the crop's established, drip is just fine. And so that's where this mix kind of comes in. So what they've got here is a wobbler. And I don't think I've done videos on wobblers before, but a wobbler is essentially just a spinning sprinkler. These have become very popular with market gardeners, especially ones that don't have definitive perimeters like my urban farm. And it just spins 360 degrees and just throws water up and all around. One great thing about these wobblers is that they can operate on a very low PSI rating. So right now, they have these wobblers hooked up to the same main line as the drip. So it's all a one inch header and these are attached to the same one, one inch header. The line that's coming for the wobblers is a one inch line, just like the header. And these can operate on 15 PSI. So they've got their drip on 15 PSI and these as well. And because this farm is in the city, they actually have 90 PSI coming from their main water source. So they have to reduce it down for all of these, but they have enough pressure here where they can run all the drip. They have 100 and, about 120 beds total here. They can run all the drip at once. And if they want to run the wobblers at the same time, I think they can do about half the field with drip and wobblers. So everything on this irrigation system has on and off valves, which is important because sometimes you need to isolate areas. So there's a main line underground that comes all over on the other side of the farm and they come up in every block of bed. So their bed blocks here are 14 beds at a time and then they leave an empty bed and basically mulch it as a access path. So they've got their main header here and so they can turn on this one block of bed. So this would turn this on and be to water 14 foot beds. So that's gonna go on. And what they've also done is they have on and off valves on each drip and then you come along here and then they've got the on and off for the wobbler unit. So I've just turned on the drip and I'm just gonna turn on the wobblers here for a second and show you guys. So if you look at this carrot crop right here, you can actually see kind of a good example of how this hybrid system would work well in such a dry and arid climate. You can see really good germination on this row, on this bed of carrots here. So Eric is doing everything with the JP5. And so he's got 10 rows of carrots seeded. After he seeded that, he would have run these wobblers for a little while. And then once the crop's established, you know, you really only need to use the drip. 
So it's really all about having a system that's versatile that has different applications and different needs. These wobbler sprinklers aren't that expensive. You only need to have four on a 100 foot bed and on his blocks of 14, he's got two rows of wobblers per 14. So three beds from the end in and then there's there's eight beds in between and then three on the end. So they overlap good enough to get an even coverage all the way through. So again, this is the site that is going to be our five day workshop, February 25th. I hope to see some of you guys there. I will leave a link in the show notes right below. And I have to say, after visiting this farm, I'm very excited to teach a workshop here because there's no other farms I teach at that are as accommodating to having lots of people in. We've got a playground right behind us, a park, places to hang out. We've got a community center where we're going to teach the classroom parts of the workshop and tons of space for people to walk and hang around in. It's a very people friendly farm. So I hope to see some of you guys there. I have some discount codes for couples if you want to come or just in groups of two. You can get 400 bucks off two tickets. So that will be down below. So I hope to see some of you guys there. All right. Talk to you later.